State police say they shot and killed a man who led officers on a high-speed chase for more than 40 miles. It ended in gunfire on Route 22 in Westmoreland County. KDK's Jessica Gway joins us live with new information about what happened and what we know about the man who was shot and killed. Jess. Ken, the police chase reached speeds of 100 miles per hour on Route 22. State police tell me when they got the vehicle to stop, the suspect who had a gun did not comply with their request. Then he was shot by troopers. We were outside and then all of a sudden we heard a huge bang, like a big crash, and then we heard several gunshots after that. A man was shot and killed by state police on Route 22 in Derry Township, Westmoreland County, after a high-speed chase that started in Richland Township, Cambria County, 45 miles away. It was heading on Route 22 at a high rate of speed, and that's a, a, a huge concern. That's a separate concern, right, because we're worried about all of the people that are traveling on Route 22. Uh, this incident is taking place in the middle of the day. Trooper Steve Lamani tells me there was a felony domestic incident involving a handgun in Richland Township. And when Richland Township police encountered the suspect, 35-year-old Kristen Prettler, he led them on a long pursuit. Trooper Lamani says Prettler eventually turned around on 22 and started heading eastbound. A trooper executed a pit maneuver to bring his vehicle to a stop. At that point in time, we tried to engage him with, with some uh, requests. Unfortunately, you know, it, it escalated very quickly into, into gunfire and subsequently uh, he was killed. Troopers say Prettler was in possession of a firearm, but they cannot tell us if Prettler fired his gun until the investigation is complete. London shots, Dolan lives so right by 22. Bad. The gunshots scared her and her children. Ran back down the hill and seen the incident and got inside, locked the doors because we just felt unsafe. Prettler was from Johnstown. We've learned he had a long criminal history. He pled guilty to shooting and injuring a man in Daleboro in December 2016. It's one of the worst things for a police officer to have to do, right, be involved in uh, such a, a horrible event. The loss of life is, is uh, it's a shame. Um, you know, unfortunately, like, that's a situation that we were, we were put in. State police said the trooper or troopers involved will be placed on administrative duties while Troop A major case team investigates the incident, which is Pennsylvania State Police policy. Westmoreland County District Attorney Nicole Ziccarelli said after she she's going to wait for the full and complete uh, re investigative report and then after a thorough and unbiased review of the evidence, she will make a legal determination as to the use of force. Reporting live, Jessica Gway, KDKA News.